The men's basketball team from St. Bonaventure University has punched their ticket for the NCAA tournament. Alumni have gotten, as you can imagine, very excited about that. And News 4's Rachel Kingston spoke with some of them tonight. Good evening, Rachel. And they certainly have good reason to be excited. This is Bonaventure's first ever Atlantic 10 tournament championship. Local alums don't just have another game to look forward to now. They've got a hot spot to watch it from. A tavern just off Route 5 in Hamburg, which is owned by a fellow Bonaventure grad and fan. Jim Healy has been waiting his entire adult life for this moment. The moment when he'd see his alma mater claim its first Atlantic 10 championship. Never thought I'd see it happen. You know, but they got so hot in the tournament, it was a great thing. Great thing. It was standing room only in Healy's Tavern, the Wanaka Grill, throughout most of Sunday's matchup between St. Bonaventure and Xavier. Bonaventure alumni spanning a couple of decades packed the house wall to wall and went just as nuts as the current players as the final buzzer sounded. It was just wild. We all, we all did this, man. This is a very emotional right now. This is what I came here for. Word of Healy's ties to St. Bonaventure is beginning to spread through the Hamburg community and beyond. The Wanaka Grill is quickly becoming the big hangout for Buffalo area Bonaventure alums. Sunday, they drove in from as far as Rochester and Ohio. 34 years and we finally won it and that's what I had the former Brown Indian from 1984 was in here, drove in from Cleveland just for the game and he was cheering for the whole thing. When Healy opened this place, someone suggested that he showcase the best of Buffalo. The names and pictures of dozens of outstanding collegiate basketball, football, and baseball stars now adorn the Wanaka Grill's walls, paying homage to homegrown talent. Healy says that's what keeps people streaming in the door, that feeling of being back in the dorms. They love the fact that it's just local college basketball becomes relevant again, no matter who the team is, whether it's Niagara or Canisius or whatever. And that's what that's what's really big. St. Bonaventure moves on to play Florida State later this week, and Healy tells me he's ready both for the game and the onslaught of fans he expects to see in the Wanaka Grill.